Good morning, God Talk people. Happy Monday. Today I'm going to talk to you about connecting to God, connecting to Jesus, the life giver. And just a story about something that happened on vacation. Before we left for our trip, we had had one of the busiest weeks that I can remember. I was exhausted, I was stressed, I was overly emotional because that's how I get when I'm overly tired and I was just really frazzled and by the time we got there you know we started to settle in I still just kind of had this unsettled feeling on the inside of me and I felt God calling me and his presence is all that we need to settle inner turmoil his presence is all that we need to bring ourselves peace, to settle those emotions, to settle um, frayed nerves. I just was so aware that day when I settled down with him and I was reading a Christian book and it had a lot of scripture in it, it was very inspiring. And I just, we got there, we settled in and I grabbed my book and I went out to the beach and I started to read. And um, there was so much God in this book that I just felt like his love and his peace just started to wash over me. And I started thinking, I need to just talk about this on a video. Um, I was thinking about this little sign that I have in my bedroom and I have it kind of right in my face. So if I'm laying in bed, I, I see it. And it says, it is well with my soul. And so often I think we hear that and we're like, well, how, how do I say that it is well with my soul? If there's something going on or if you're just really stressed out if life has been overly crazy how do you how do you say that it's well in honesty and I thought we can say that it's well when we're connected to our father when we connect to the vine and he begins to bring us his perspective he begins to show us um, how he sees things that is when we, we go above, we go above the circumstances, we go above our feelings and our emotions, and then we start to see as he sees and we can say it is well with our soul. We cannot thrive daily without good physical food and we cannot thrive daily without good spiritual food. And I was thinking about back in college and a little bit after that, whenever I would visit the farm, my mom would say to me, Jen, can't you just sit down? Can't you just sit still for a while? Why are you so unsettled? Why are you so antsy? And I knew that the Lord was even speaking to me through her words, but I wasn't ready to um, fully submit to him yet. So I would just act like everything was fine. And oh, I just, I have things to do and I have places to go. And knowing now that it was because I wasn't connecting to the vine. So I'm gonna read you guys a scripture right now. And this is from John 15. And we're going to read four and five and it says abide in me and i in you as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine neither can you unless you abide in me i am the vine and you are the branches he who abides in me and i in him bears much fruit for without me without my presence you can do nothing so it's filling up with his spirit, with his presence that enables us to pour out love and encouragement and help to other people and to treat them the way that they should be treated, to love them the way that they should be loved. I can't do it by myself. And I noticed that day as I began to fill myself up with the Holy Spirit again, um, I was so much calmer with my family. I was so much more at ease and, and fun and joyful and laughter came and rest came and I slept so well that night. So every day I tried to connect with him through the Bible, through um, just talking to him um, and through that wonderful book that I was reading. So that's when we can finally say that it is well with our souls. And this is so important. Our vision begins to be corrected when we spend that time with him, that time in his word. Speaking of vision being corrected, um, tune in you guys later this week. I'm gonna share another story about how God spoke to me about how I needed to correct my vision. And he used physical things to show me this truth. And it's a great story. So tune in um, Thursday for another episode of God Talk. Thanks, you guys. God bless your day.